Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to make a teacher's gift today. So I thought I would take you along with me. You're going to need a piece of paper that is nine and a half by twelve. Put it on the twelve-inch side, and you're going to score. Let me get my notes over here. You're going to score at three, at three and a half. Oops. Uh, seven and a half. Eight. So that's three, three and a half, seven and a half, and eight. I will have these measurements on my blog, so don't worry about writing anything down if you don't want to. Now let me grab my corner rounder, wherever it might be. Now on this side right here, the one that you scored first at three, on the closest to that three inch score line, you want to round these corners. And you can just leave the other ones as they are, or you can round them too. It doesn't really matter. So now let's do some folding, and then we will go on, and we've got a few more things that we're going to do some scoring on, but we'll fold this up first. This is some heavy cardstock. So this is the way that our gift is going to go together, just like this. So if you can see, it's going to be a little portfolio. This is going to be the front cover, and this is going to be the inside now, cover. Now I've gone ahead and cut some mats, and I will tell you the size of these. This is from an old, old paper pack that I've had in my stash forever. So I don't even know, I'm pretty sure that it's discontinued. But it was an old die cuts with a view pack. And I, I'm just trying to use up some of my scraps when I'm making things like this. I hate to cut into some of the new paper packs that we're receiving because I want you guys to have a chance to get them. Okay, so this piece is cut at two and three quarters by nine and a quarter. And then you're going to round the corners on it. And that's going to go down right there. So we're going to use some art glitter right, glue. We're put that down right there. Just leaving a little border. Before we put any other mats on here, we're going to put a closure on it. And I'm going to use some of this stretchy cord. And I'm going to put it right there and then I'm just going to run it around make sure I've got plenty to go around there. You don't want to put it too tight but you don't want to put it too loose. So just make sure that you have enough. So I'm going to cut it about right there. And then we're going to mark in From the edge, let's mark in about one and a quarter inches, and I'm going to come down about half an inch so that I'll have plenty of room. Mark that right there. You know, that looks. Whoops! No wonder it didn't look right. I marked it at one and a half instead of one and a quarter. Okay, and. One and a quarter, about right there. So we should have put our eyelets in before I put this piece on. But since I didn't, all I'm going to do is just go ahead and put these on, and then I'm just going to cover those on the front with a piece of paper, a piece of bling, flour, something. I'll cover them with something. I got ahead of myself. So go ahead and put your eyelets in before you put your mats down. 
And the reason I'm putting them in this way is it'll be more to cover up if I put them this way. And I don't really like that look, so I would definitely have to cover it up. Now what you want to do is put, put the edge of your string down like that. Not pulling it too tight. Leaving a little bit on the outside. And then you want to run... that through there you want to run that on, on top of the string so that you can make sure you get all of that underneath so that it'll hold it I'm going to go ahead and clip that off right there it's going to be covered up with paper so it's not going to matter but and then you want to just set your eyelet with that underneath that way it doesn't pull out so we've got that under there Now we can cover these up with something. These on the outside, so I'm not worried about that. Let's go ahead and cover the inside. So I think we've got this one cut for the inside. So we want to round these corners. And then we'll put that down right there. That will serve two purposes. It will hold that string and eyelid in place and then it'll cover all of that up so and you wouldn't have to use an eyelid as large as I've used and I'm gonna put I'm gonna run glue right around that eyelet on both of them so that it'll seal it up real well we don't want that pulling off So there we go, that's covered. And then let's see which ones we want to put in here. I think we'll put that one there and that one there. Now, I think I told you the size of this. It's the same size as that one on the outside. And that is two and three quarters by nine and one quarter. These are three and three quarters by nine and one quarter. So all of these will be the same size. There's one more that we'll put on the outside and it's gonna be the same size as this. We're going to put one right here, and I think I'm going to put that one there. That kind of matches up with that. Okay, now all we need to do is put the pockets and things on the inside. We have another piece. We're going to put a pocket right here. This is cut at five and one half by three inches. And we're going to grab our scoreboard back up here. We're going to score this at one half and then three quarters. Then we're going to turn it, score at one half and three quarters. Turn ooh, one half and three quarters. So that is one half and three quarters on three sides. And then you're going to cut out that whole box on the side right there. You're going to cut from one score line to the other. Cut out all of those little boxes right there in the corner. We don't need those. Okay, and go ahead and do your folding. And 
then that's going to go together just like that. See how we put these on the top like we normally do. And let me find some score tape. This is one of our little one inch by one inch blocks. It is great to use to um, cut that score tape on the end and then just fold it over. And lay your little edges together just like that. I have to hold it down here so I can see it now. Okay, and then you've already got your adhesive there, so we're ready to put this down. This is going to go right at the bottom, right in between those score lines. Make sure that you don't put it over the score line. It needs to go right in between the score lines. Oops. Don't stick it down before you need to. There we go. And then I just use my bone folder and go up in there and press all those down really well. So we've got that pressed down. And now we're going to put some pockets right here on the side. And these are cut at 4 inches by 5. You need two of those. And then this one is cut at 5 by 5. And you need one of those. So we're going to do the 5 by 5 first. You're going to score it at one half inch on three sides. Oops. This cardstock is so thick if I don't remember to press down really hard it doesn't um, it doesn't score all the way. And then you just need to cut those corners out where those score lines meet. And I cut mine out at just a little bit of an angle, not much. And then you're ready to go ahead and fold and burnish those. Put your score tape on there. And you want to put it right up at the fold where you, you scored it. You want to put it right up to the score line. So right there. Then you can pull the backing off of this. My, my, excuse me if I'm kind of stuttering and stammering around. My mind has been going 90 to nothing today. And I can't keep one thing, I can't keep concentrating on one thing. Now I'm going to clip these corners just a little bit at an angle. This just helps when things start to slide down in there. Now all you're going to do is bring these up just like that and glue those together and see that's forming another little pocket. Now we're going to bring this and we're going to start this one up here at the top. So I'm going to mark about one and a half inches and that's where I'm going to, from the top and that's where I'm going to start that first one. So I'm just going to make a little mark there. So this will come right up to that mark. I hope I'm not getting my head in the shot. I'm trying to see. And then 
just press it down just like that so there is one pocket slide some things down in I'm gonna go ahead and mat these two the mat for this one is three and three quarters by four and one quarter now you could have put a little pull tab right here if you wanted to but I'm just gonna leave it solid because I think she has some things that she's gonna slide down in there this is for my little granddaughter's teacher and then the mat for this one is two inches by three and three quarter okay now we can put two more pockets on this side these are the pockets that are cut at five by four okay on these you're going to score at one half inch on the three sides just like we did the the other one they're just going to be a little bit shorter than the other one is now we're going to measure down from the top three and three quarters and that's where we're going to start the next one three and three quarters from the top and just make a little mark so that you'll know where to put the next one down and just line it up with the sides of that first one that you put down just like that so there's your other pocket on top of that one we will mat this one the mat for this one is three and three quarters by three and one quarter so we're going to put that down right there and then we'll put our other pocket right down here again you want to score at one half inch on three sides two short sides and one long side then when you start to put this one down you can take it right down to the bottom of the page or the bottom of where your mat came to it doesn't matter and yes this is a very colorful um, folio but she loves colors she loves flowers so that's what we've done for her and press that down well and then we have another mat to go on here it's cut the same size this one is three and three quarter by three and one quarter put that down and we will be almost finished the what takes the longest on this is just cutting your mats everything else comes together really quick here we go we have three pockets right there you can slide some things down into that there and there and I have this little and Crayola the, paper pad and it has the magnet on the back of it and we're gonna put that right down in there just like that and you could always put a magnet up here so that that would stick in there if you wanted to I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna let her take this out and put it on her fridge if she wants to or somewhere so that she can make notes on it you could also go ahead and put a pen in here if you wanted to do that but I don't think I'm gonna do that either so you just close it up just like this now it's closed nice and tight you can go ahead and cover the back if you want to I don't think I'm going to just since all the rest of it's covered but I do think I'm gonna have to put something on these and let me look and see what I have to cover those okay I had some very large pieces of bling and that's that bling with that little rough texture to it and it sits on top of those great I love it and it just makes it look like that's what's closing it so I'm gonna put those there and then I think I want to put something else on the front I'm not sure well as my day has been going I thought I was filming when I was putting these corners on and I wasn't but I did put some little uh, metal, metal corners on just to dress it up a little bit and now I have a cameo and it's in black so it'll pull out that black 
from the back but ground there. So I'm going to put that right there and get hot glue all over me. And then I have another little um, resin piece. This, These are things that I've had in my stash forever. And it will pull out that teal that's in that paper line. And then I have this little piece that's been in my stash for a long time. And I'm going to put that right there that makes it look like it's that's what's opening it. And I'm going to put lots of glue on the back of this to just kind of give it a little bit of dimension. And see if I can hit the center the first time. There we go. So that is it. I'm going to put a little glue under these just so that it's going to hold these on there. Make sure those don't fall off. And then she can still put this in her purse since all of this is on with hot glue. So, Because I use the Gorilla hot glue so it should stay on there really well even if it's tossed around a little bit. Alright guys, that is it. All you have to do now is just open this up. And you've got your pockets over here and then your notepad there. And I'll probably include a pen with it. I may not attach it. I may just include a pen with it so that she'll have something to put on there to write with if she wants to. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That is my face right up there. And when the little bell pops up, click that bell so that you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Please don't forget to go over. I will leave the link below. Go over and um, sign up for our classes in Pigeon Forge in September 13th through the 15th. I will leave that link below so that you can you can go over and see all the classes. It's going to be lots and lots of wonderful teachers there. So we hope to see you there. We will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.